there is a phase of distribution. The release date of your film is determined by the distribution company. It is possible to organize movie promotions. It is also in charge of film distribution to movie theaters. Big film studios, in a sense, profit from all the meat and milk of a movie. So how does it accomplish this? They turn the toys you buy for your kids, backpacks, and computer wallpapers you buy into commodities and sell them. Ah, there's one last thing we should mention. Following the screenings, the films are re-released on DVD and digital platforms with rental, sales, and subscription strategies. What if you projected the movies you wanted to make onto the stage exactly as you imagined them in your head? The movie industry would be hard hit at that time, and many movie workers would be unemployed. It wasn't just these that were affected. He began to produce films that had come before him, and digital platforms quickly devolved into a dumping ground. It would not be enough to reduce audience interest in the films. It would also be possible to reduce the financial income from the films, possibly to zero. Humanity's creativity would be the one to bear the brunt of the blow. Because humanity's creativity is responsible for everything that shapes our future. Many of the things we see or use in our daily lives are the result of human ingenuity. There is, however, one more possibility. Too many people working on a film may result in the development of each individual's creativity. But because this will not be reflected in large communities, it may result in a decrease in the masses' creativity. That is to say, our future is on the line.